Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Um, in this video, we will talk uh, about this uh, false self-proclaimed proclaimed, uh, rabbi. I made videos before uh, about him and I got him busted. And today I saw his video, so I said to myself, let him get me, you know, get him busted again. Now, the unique about this rabbi is very beloved by Muslims. Now, just to introduce him to you, he live in Indonesia, so he live in an Islamic country. Now, uh, he's trying to practice himself as a Jew, but it's not working. I mean, really, it doesn't work. If somebody speak Hebrew, it does not mean he's a rabbi, and don't fool yourself. There's three million Palestinians, or they call themselves Palestinian. They speak Hebrew, same as every Jew in Israel. All right? So don't fool yourself with speaking Hebrew. So how we can know that if this guy is a rabbi or not? simply if you have a knowledge and how much deep he is in his knowledge and you will notice that this guy all his lovers are muslims and all his scholars are muslims too and they love him now i am not sure when the last time a jew was loved by muslims they mm, win last time when muhammad he slaughtered 900 jews in one day one by one like a butcher the same as isis did just a few days ago they killed 19. I don't know if you watched the video, by the way. It's very disgusting. This is the same day of the morning of the Muslim Eid, you know, the holiday. They slaughter 19 a human being and they hang them like sheep. Exactly. They, they, in the slaughterhouse, you know, they slaughter them and they hang them. So when Muhammad, he slaughtered the Jews one by one. And when Muhammad, he says, the worst enemy for you Muslims are the Jews. And when Muhammad, he says, that Jews are pigs and monkeys and they are dirty and when he said uh, uh, Jews are rats and when he said uh, even that the Muslims have a duty to kill every Jew if this guy is a Jew if this guy is a Jew according to Muhammad every single Jew in this earth should be killed by Muslims so what is a secret that Muslims they call this Jew asking for advice a brother what do you think about the Christians saying in this <laughs> I, I cannot find the, 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 the answer of that except that this guy is a scumbag and he is uh, you know a false person <clears throat> as you see in the front of you Muhammad he said the last hour would not come unless the Muslims will fight against the Jews and the Muslim would kill them until the Jews would hide himself behind a stone or a tree and a stone or a tree would say hey Muslim Abdul 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 come over there's a Jewish behind me get him this is how much hate they have for the Jews but yet the Abdul they are calling this rabbi for simply he worked for them and he is a big scam now let us see what what he said let us get him busted as always we do don't worry the video will not be long it's going to be short i, I have you know I'm, I'm done with those potatoes but it doesn't hurt from time to time to give them some spanking this is a muslim guy his name is ahmed and he is calling or his rabbi <laughs> I'm, um, I'm just all right let's we've got another caller on so we're going to take that call now uh caller welcome to the show please tell us your name and where you're calling from uh hello my name is ahmed uh, i'm calling from florida oh, very good um i'm just i just have a, uh, one question uh, about the word ikhad and elohim um now the word ikhad which is uh, um coincidentally it's the same in the arabic which is ahad it means you know god is one and uh He's only one. You can't. You can't add. You can't subtract. Nothing. Okay. He's only one. But but the Christians uh, would say that God means a complex unity or, or a compound unity, meaning that God has uh, more than one person or He's like a group. And they also say that Elohim is plural and um, uh, Elohim is plural, and they would point to the Trinity to, to that and uh, claim that. God is a Trinity. So, how can you respond to that? Yeah, that's a very, very good question. Okay. Are you a Muslim, by the way? Uh, by the way, are you a Muslim, by the way? Um, um, uh, by the way, are you a Muslim? The guy, his name is Ahmad. He said in Arabic, we say Ahad, 
and you say they're Christians, they say, so he must be Hindu. Like, come on, it's, you know, it's very hard to know he's a Muslim. Are you a Muslim, by the way? Hmm. I think you are a Muslim. That is deep. That's deep, Rabbi. In super intelligence you have. Come on. What a fake, what a fake. I mean, it's obviously, it's an act. Can't you see it? It's an act. Now, let us see what this uh, false rabbi will say. And you will notice, by the way, the rabbi, he have a slide right away appear in the in the in the TV, in the in the video. This is live broadcast, all right. So it's right away appear, and as of the, you know know the question, immediately in the screen the words will appear. Hmm, interesting. So this uh, for Muslims can be very, um, very tricky, uh, because the Muslim Muslims worship one God, and there is nothing more central to the Islamic faith, like the Jewish faith, that there is one God and no other, La ilaha il Allah. That's the most central core creed of, of Muslims worldwide. Not let us get you busted from the beginning. Uh, he is trying to say that we, you, you Muslims and us, we have the same belief. As if he's saying that Allah and the God of the Jews is one God. Now, is it true that the Shahada in Islam is La ilaha illallah, as this uh, scam he said? Let us get him busted. You can ask any Muslim, what is the Shahada? What is the Shahada? He will say to you, the Shahada is to say there is no God but Allah. And Muhammad is his messenger. Shahada is not saying there's no God but Allah alone. So why he ignored the second part of the Shahada? If the Muslims are worshiping one God, then they should not, they should not go and say additional part of the Shahada is to say there's no, you know, Muhammad is the prophet of Allah. As you see it in the front of you. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمدا the false prophet of Allah. So the shahada it doesn't say that you witness for Allah and that is Islamic shahada. That is a big fat lie. The Muslim don't believe in such a thing. As you see here, they even they, they wrote it for you in Arabic. أشهد which means I witness. And la ilaha, and that's there is no God. Illa Allah. Illa here it's mean except Allah is the God of Islam, which is la. And then ashadu anna, which mean that is Muhammadan Rasulullah, the Messenger of Allah. So the Islamic Shahada never was never was to witness to Allah. It is to witness to Allah and to Muhammad. So this guy is lying to you about what the Muslims believe. The Muslims don't believe in just shahada of Allah, to witness for Allah. They believe in order to be a Muslim, in order to be a Muslim, and you can ask any Muslim you want. If someone says there is no God but Allah, is he a Muslim? They will say no. To be a Muslim, you have to witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And actually, if you witness that Muhammad is a messenger of Allah, is more important than witnessing for Allah, because Allah then will be included. But if you witness for Allah without mentioning the name of Muhammad, that's mean you are not a Muslim. So this liar, he is fooling you, and he is not telling the truth. Now, what else? Let us continue. He will talk about the word ikhad. Let us see what the word ikhad means. By the way, the Muslim, he said something. You can play the video again. He said, the word Ikhad is the same as the word Ahad in Arabic. And you know how many times I try to explain to Muslim that the word Ahad does not mean the oneness of, like, uh, it's, it doesn't mean number one in, in, uh, in Arabic. The word Ahad, I made many videos about it. It means one off, one off, not one, not one alone, one off. Now this guy, the Muslim guy Abdul, the, 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 the Arab Abdul, 
he speak Arabic he said I will play it again just to refresh your memory the word Ikhad mean same as the word Ahad in Arabic listen carefully I have a, uh, one question uh, about the word Ikhad and Elohim um, now the word Ikhad which is uh, um, coincidentally the same in the Arabic which is Ahad and mean did you hear it the same as in Arabic which mean Ahad now let us hear, I want you to take a note about this. Let us hear what this Abdul, uh, the, the, the first rabbi, will say about that. Uh, because the Muslim, Muslims worship one God. Yeah. And there is nothing more central to the Islamic faith, like the Jewish faith, what that there is one God and no other. La ilaha illallah. That's the <laughs> most central core creed of, of Muslims worldwide. Nothing is more central. Now, Christians play a game. It's a rather ugly game, and I'll explain to you. See? Because I want people the worldwide to understand what's being done. Very dangerous game that's being played. See how bad the Christian? And I want to explain to you how to respond. So, what Christians argue, and they argue it uh, very frequently, is. In the Torah, it says in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Notice with me the scream and the text is ready as if they know the question is coming. All right, here, O Israel, the Lord is a God, the Lord is one. Now, I don't know of anything that could be more clear. There is one God. And worship only one God, one alone. So for this reason, Jewish people pronounce, say this, Shema Yisrael, Adinoy Elihenu, Adinoy Echad, Hero Israel, the Lord is a God, the Lord is one. We say it every time, and it must be at the forefront of a Jew every single day. Now let us, uh, let, let us get this uh, uh, boy busted, as usual. He said that the word Ikhad present only number one. That is a very deceiving statement. Very deceiving. And let me show you how we can get this boy busted, a false rabbi. First, we go to the Old Testament. This is the Jewish translation. This is the Jewish Bible. All right. Not, not any one translation. This is an Orthodox Jewish Bible, OGB. This verse, if we go to this verse, let us see first what it says here. You see the word Echad at the end? What does that Echad present? This, what this verse is talking about, do you know? This verse is speaking about that the man, he will leave his parents and he will marry and both they will become one. It's the same exact word he is showing us here, Echad. It's exactly the same. So, how come he just said that the word Echad present one and that means one person? Only. No other choices and no other possibility. That is a big scam. And this guy, he got busted because the Bible in front of us, and this is a Jewish translation. If I change the translation right now to English translation, just to show you, let us go. Whatever translation you want, all right. There we go. You see, that's what Echad present. They shall be one flesh. You see it? That is Echad. So how you say to us that this Echad present one as number does not present one of unity because it's a scam. There is no way any rabbi who claim to be a rabbi he do not know this. Otherwise, how you explain that the word echad present a man and a woman both? You see, therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave into his wife, and they shall be one echad. As you see, to, to, you know, here we have two person, and the Bible described them as Echad. How they will become Echad? When they get married, they are one 
flesh. Not only one, they are one flesh. And this is in the Old Testament. This is not in the New Testament. So uh, someone he will say to you that this is, a, oh, this is a Christian statement. Oh, this is a Christian belief. No, it's not. This is how we got him busted. Now you can find the same phrase, actually, the same thing in the New Testament. If you go to Matthew chapter 19, verse number 5, you will see it says, and this is again the Orthodox Jewish Bible, it says, and he said because of this, uh, Yazav, you know, I'm, not, I'm not good in Hebrew, I, I know uh, like what is enough for me to, to learn. And this is the word Echad, as you see it. What the word Echad here present? This is a translation. The man, he will leave his father and his mother. It's exactly actually, it's exactly as if it is copy from the Old Testament. They are quoting actually. This is a quotation, which means this is not even, uh, you know, it's, it's not like something new. The man, he will leave his parents, he will leave his mother, his father, and when he get married, they will be one. And what is the one is Echad. So how you say to me that you liar, how you say that Echad, how many, how, how clear it can be more than using the word Echad to prove that God is one. First of all, you idiot, we Christians believe in God is one. But claiming that the word Echad mean a singular person is a big fat lie of you. Because as you see now, we are talking about a man. Do you see the word two? Do you see it? It's there. We go to Genesis. It's the same. So two of them, the two of them, they will become one, Echad. But they are two individuals. So it's really shameful that someone he claimed to be a rabbi and he say such a thing. So the question here, when someone he claimed to be a Jew and claimed to be a rabbi, how come he do not know a very simple thing about the word Echad? Now we go to the Muslim Abdul who said, and this is important for me, actually, I'm making the video more than, to the Muslims, more than this Abdul, I mean, this uh, false rabbi. Uh, when this Abdul, he said the word Ahad, as we heard him, and I told you to take a note if you remember, it's the same as Echad. We heard him saying that, right? I agree. I agree. That's wonderful. Because as you see, the word Echad present two. Does not present one. And it can present more than one. I mean, more than two. It's about unifying, not about one person. And just to show you what this false rabbi he said, uh, before we continue and get him more busted, hold on, because he will speak about Tawheed. He must bear witness to this. It's so important. It's a commandment for every Jew to recite this creed in every morning, every night. It's the first words that every Jew learns as a child when he turns 120 or she's 120. The last words that a Jew recites before he stands before God, Shema Yisrael Hashem Alekein Hashem Echad. So you ask the Christian who Christians who believe in the doctrine of the Trinity and seek to question what seems so obvious, and that is, and this is their argument. I want to make this clear. I don't want to misrepresent Christianity or Christian apologists because they're asking a question, and if you don't know what's coming, you're going to get tripped up fast. Jews are, are not, but other people of, of our cousins um, who, um, who, who, who believe, I mean, who believe that there is one God, it's called Tawheed. The word Tawheed is not in the Quran, but it means a absolute oneness of God, a absolute Unitarian uh, content of God, and there is no other. And in Islam, in the Quran, uh, there is grave warnings to those. All right, all right, all right. Let's get him busted. He said this guy, the word Tawheed, is not in the Quran. All right, and it's true. It's not in the Quran. 
but he said the word Tawheed means the oneness of God. Just to show you how stupid this guy is, he is just copying paste what he learned from the mosque of the Muslims. The word Tawheed is a verb. It's not a noun. So how you say that the word Tawheed means oneness of God if it's a verb? How you can make oneness as a verb? Give me an example of the word one as a verb. Give me. It's impossible. If I want to say God is one, one cannot be a verb. It's in any language, doesn't matter. Arabic, English is the same. So what the word Tawheed then? I will show you in the front of your eyes, and this is a Muslim dictionary. This is Al Ma'ani, an Islamic website. All right, Islamic website, as you see in the front of your eyes. Hmm? And this is the address. You will see it in the front of you. Al Ma'ani.com in the top, if you see it. All right. Now, what the word Tawheed mean? Read with me. This is not my translation. Tawheed, unification, it's a verb. Then they will say to you, Tawheed, this is a different word. They say it's mean monotheism. This is the other meaning. But the word as Tawheed mean unification. It is, here we go. This is the verb. Tawheed, unifying. That's it. How you can unify the one is one. How clear it can be more than this. This is why I said when this guy, he said the word Ahad is the same as Ikhat. I agreed. <laughs> I said, perfect. When the Muslim guy, the caller, he said the word Ikhat means the same as the word Ahad in the Quran. I agree because the word Ahad does not mean one. It's mean one off. And this is what the word of hid in the front of your eyes. And this is your Muslim dictionary, not mine. So how 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 much we can more, make it more clear? Now, if we go to the Quran and we search for the word Ahad, this is the word Ahad, you see it? In the front of your eyes. This is Ahad. If you see the translation, always Ahad mean come one off. One off. All right, chapter two, verse number one thirty-six. Click any translation you want. Between any of them, here we go. One and another of, of them. Better translation, any one of them. One of other. One of others. It cannot be for one person. It must be for one of them. And you can change the translation. Go to Yusuf Ali. Go to Shaker. We saw Yusuf Ali already. All right. It says, and we don't make any differentiation between any of them. You see the word Ahad? Ahad here is any of them. That's what the word Ahad mean. And this is the Muslim translation. And this is goes for every word in the Quran. Ahad, Ahad. Let us see. Here we go. The other word Ahad here. This is the word I had. What is the translation? It's exactly the same. Yusuf Ali. Hmm? Between one and the another, one off. Change the translation. Let us go to something we did not try yet. Let us go to uh, other potato. Big uh, tal. Uh, Big tal. All right. Between any of, any of, this is Ahad. It cannot be for one. It, it must be one off. That what is Ahad mean. This is why when this guy, Abdul, he said, Ikhad is the same as Ahad in the Quran, I love. Because the word Ahad mean, Allah is one off. I'm just, I just have a, uh, one question uh, about the word Ikhad and Elohim. Um, now, the word Ikhad, which is uh, con um, coincidentally it's the same in the Arabic, which is Ahad, it means, you know, God is one, and uh, 
He's only one. You can't you can add, you can't subtract nothing. Okay. He's only one God. But the Christians uh, would say that Echad means the complex unity. Uh,